Hello everyone, it is Charlotte's Pets, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to ham how to get your hamster to burrow. Um, so first I'm going to be talking about some tips, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my cage um, more more uh, like deep in substrate and a little bit easier to burrow with for my hamster. So if you enjoyed this video, like the video. Um, my cat is eating some plastic right now, I don't know why, he's a weirdo, but, um, yeah, hope you enjoy, yeah. So the first thing that you can do to get your hamster to burrow is to make sure that you have about 10 inches of substrate to a section in your hamster's cage. So, um, the best substrate for burrowing would be, like, a KT Clean and Cozy, um, um, like, kind of paper-based beddings and stuff like that. Also, th another idea that you can do is you can add in hay in between the layers. I've seen Victoria Rachel do this. It helps make your burrows stable. As well as you need to make sure that your burrows, your bedding is pat padded down on the cage because then it makes it more stable for them to make burrows. Um, the, uh, the next thing uh, is that, like, you can't have, uh, like, um, an aspen bedding wouldn't work very well for burrowing because it's kind of a, more of a wood shaving natural thing. Also, there's a couple other beddings that are unsafe that, that I wouldn't recommend using. Don't use pine, don't use cedar, and don't use scented beddings. So, uh, pine and cedar are from the wood shaving, from the softwood family. So, I'm just gonna... Rusa? What's she doing? Someone interrupted my video. Oh. So, because of pine and cedar being in the softwood family, they can produce a lot of acid that goes up into your hamster's breathing system. Another thing you can do to make sure that your hamster has the choice to burrow is adding in hideouts underneath the bedding. So the biggest reason why a hamster would burrow is because they want to find a nice safe spot to sleep in. So if you added in little hideouts like tunnels, stuff like that underneath the bedding, they will most likely burrow down and make a nice nest down there. So it's a very good idea to do that. It makes a nice warm place one warm insulated place for them to sleep in. I'm also just gonna add in this cardboard box in there. I might even take away that book thing because like you know I can't fit everything in that cage. But I'm going to go ahead and set up my cage so that my hamster has a good place to burrow in. <laughs>
So as you can see, I've got the hole here where she can go in there. Um, we've got the bendy bridge in there, a uh, um, uh, pot, a uh, kind of a cardboard box that's stuck in there. My cat's meowing. There's her bed. It's covered with bedding. Um, and here's her sand bath. It kind of runs along there. And then I sprinkled some seed, seed mix everywhere. So I pressed down all the bedding too. So it's even more than about 10 inches at the back and everything. So this will encourage her to burrow. I've only seen her burrow once and I've had her for quite a while. I've had her for about um like two months. And she's burrowed once that I've seen. So yeah, hopefully this will encourage her to burrow and hopefully it'll give some you some inspiration on how to make your hamster burrow. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It took me a while to set up the cage, but um yeah, I gotta get to my cat because he's kind of mad at me right now. <laughs> anyway, uh see you next time. Bye.